Welcome back to your container gardening tutorial. Right now, we're talking about how to fertilize your container garden. And this is a great, uh, these are great fertilizers to use for your flower bed as well. We have a number of different fertilizers here that I'll talk about. The first one, the big one, it's just called Pink. And uh, it's actually a really good fertilizer. It's, uh, it's, it's good value and you just throw it on the flower bed. You just throw the fertilizer all over your soil and when you water, it just naturally leaches in. Or you can mix it like a regular water soluble. And so that's a great idea for fertilizer. We have, of course, this is the most popular fertilizer we carry. This is the water soluble fertilizer. It's called Plant Prod. These numbers here, the 202020, think top down all around for these numbers. First one is top. Higher middle, higher first number is going to give you lots of nice, beautiful foliage, but maybe not as many flowers. The middle number is what stimulates the roots. The roots is what brings the, uh, brings the flowers out. It what, it's what makes it bloom vigorously. And the last number is like a multivitamin. It's like a micro, full of micronutrients, zinc and iron and all those good things that we need and plants need too. So this is a good fertilizer and you just mix it in with your with your watering can or some people have sprayers. So that's a good one as well. Now, if you have a smaller space garden or a patio or a deck or something, you might want to try, these are called singles. miracle Grow singles they're called. miracle Grow is a very respected name and that's what they are. And you just throw it in your watering can. It's really easy. So if you just have one gar container garden, two container gardens, and you don't want to worry about having to measure this out, just crack this open, throw it in the watering can, and give it a water. You're done. The great thing about container gardening is, with most container gardens with annuals in it, pretty tough to over fertilize, because they like a lot of fertilizer. So you don't really have to worry about your, um, you have to still have to watch your, your proportions, but you don't have to worry too, too much. This is called Feed and Forget. This is a slow release fertilizer. If you look in our ba uh, container gardens here at Salisbury, you'll see that all the container gardens have this in it. This is a very neat fertilizer, you can see that. And these are pellets and they're full of good stuff and they break down over about six months. So in our climate, about the whole life of the container, they break down and they just feed slowly the container. Now if you're using the annuals, the high octane annuals we talked about earlier, like the super tunias and wave petunias and bacopa, things like that, this is not, still not going to be enough. You want to use this plus, but this will really keep your plants looking good. It'll really give that extra little, little bump. If you're not giving your plants enough fertilizer, you'll notice by the plants will start, the leaves might start to turn a light green. That's what we call chlorotic. So if it starts to turn light green, don't worry, just give it some more fertilizer. And this is called Mikey. This is a very exciting new product. I saved the best for last. And Mikey is a, is a mycorrhizae fungus and it attaches to the root system symbiotically of, the, of whatever plant you're planted with. This is for annuals. And within about three weeks, you're going to start to see results there. You're going to start to see the roots growing and expanding faster. Well, you won't see it, but the, that makes for a healthier plant. And the only thing with Mikey is because it is a living fungus, um, it is a living organism, it's a good fungus. It's, we normally think of fungus as bad. This is the good one. Because it is a living organism, phosphates will burn it. So if you use Mikey, you can't apply a fertilizer with a middle number higher than 30. For example, we have 105210. Uh, that's a, a plant starter fertilizer. You can't apply that with Mikey because it will kill the fungus. It will burn it. So that's a little bit about fertilizing your container garden. We always recommend a fertilized container garden half strength every single watering, but that's not always plausible. That's a lot of work. So every week or two would be great. Give it a full strength shot of fertilizer, whatever you're using, and it'll look beautiful all summer.